Hi, welcome to Pathways to Chemistry. This is Dr. Ann O'Connor, and here we're told that we have a 295 gram piece of aluminum that has an initial temperature of 13 degrees Celsius, and it absorbed 75 kilojoules of heat. What is the final temperature of the aluminum? And here they give us the specific heat capacity of aluminum. So we can go ahead and use this relationship here. The heat represented by Q is equal to the specific heat capacity of the aluminum times the mass times the change in temperature. And remember, delta T is equal to the final temperature minus initial temperature. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that my mass and temperature are in the appropriate units. And then we need to go ahead and convert our 75 kilojoules of heat to joules of heat, okay? And we need to do that because we're going to be using the specific heat capacity, and that is in joules. So our units have to be consistent. So 75 kilojoules then is going to be 75 times 10 to the third joules. Okay, so we're all set now. Um, what we should do is go ahead and solve our equation for delta T. So let's do that. So delta T is going to be equal to Q over the specific heat capacity times the mass. So let's go on here. Let's see. Our uh, heat then is 75 times 10 to the third joules. And then we're going to divide that by the specific heat capacity of the aluminum. That's 0.9 joules per Kelvin per gram. And then we multiply that by the mass of the aluminum, which is 295 grams. Now, go ahead and make sure our units cancel out and our units do cancel out. And we're just left in... Kelvin. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate this. So delta T is equal to 282.4859 Kelvin. Okay, so again, Remember, de delta T is the final temperature minus the initial temperature. So the final temperature then is going to be equal to delta T plus the initial temperature. Now, recall in this first part here, we went ahead and converted the temperature to Kelvin, but we really didn't need to do that because remember, delta T here we have it as 282.4859 kelvins. But remember, a kelvin unit is equal to a Celsius degree. So they're the same size. And this is delta T. It's a change in temperature. So we can say then that this is equal to 282.4859 degrees Celsius. So now I can find my final temperature. And that's 282.48. 59 degrees Celsius plus our initial temperature, which was 13 degrees Celsius. And this is going to give us 295 degrees Celsius. 